All right, Capricorn. Hello, hello. Come on in here. This is your weekly reading for the week of March 10th through March 16th. I'm Tiffany. Welcome to Wasted Traditions. I've already blessed my decks of cards, so let's go ahead and get started to find out what spirit needs you to know. All right, we're going to use Oracle cards and clarification with the Tarot. This deck is the African Goddess Rising Oracle. All right, Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know for this week? We already have one jumper here. Just give us one more, Spirit. What does Capricorn need to know? Do tell. Capricorn, I hope you are doing well. Check out your reading from last week if you haven't done so already. I will leave a link in the description as well as in the cards for you, Capricorn. All right, what do we have for you? Okay, we have Medusa, Rage, Capricorn, Rage. And then we also have Mbokumu, Soul Forgiveness. Capricorn, what's going on? Ooh, all right. Capricorn, you're in some type of turmoil or conflict. I'm getting here. That's what I'm feeling. Some sort of turmoil or conflict that you're in right now, Capricorn. And it's enraging you, it seems, right? And then with the Mbokumu soul forgiveness, you're going to have to let that rage go so that you can live a life of peace and freedom, okay? Wow, Capricorn, some heavy stuff right here. You got to, this rage has to stop. You have to transmute that rage into something more useful and powerful for you to enlighten your life, lift you up, renew your spirits. Okay, Capricorn. All right, spirit, tell us what's going on with this rage for Capricorn. Is that three? Oh, my goodness. Wow, let's see. We have Nine of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Empress. Okay. Okay, Capricorn. Definitely. All right. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So what's coming up for you here? What spirit is showing us, Capricorn, is... This rage is actually causing a lot of tension for you, causing you a lot of mental anxiety, Capricorn. And that is not a healthy thing. It is keeping you up at night. It is clouding your thoughts, Capricorn. That's what I'm getting from this. Oh, goodness. Um, and then with the Six of Pentacles, it seems like this rage, this anger that you're feeling, Capricorn, has something to do with money. Is there, is money owed to you, Capricorn? Is money owed to you or you feel like you didn't get your fair share of something? That's what I'm getting from this. It has the, the rage, the anger, the mental anxiety that you're feeling. It's surrounding money, like maybe even a loan. That someone hasn't paid you back. And then with the Empress. Oh, oh, oh. This is making this is making your everyday life. This is making your world difficult. Because this is someone close to you that this money has come between you, Capricorn. The money has come between you. It's someone close to you. You can't believe they would do something like that to you. You would never do that to them. And it's really enraging you and making you very upset. Very, um, very upset with them. <clears throat> Let's get some more clarification. Spirit, what else does Capricorn need to know? How does this get released? How do we... How do we get Capricorn out of this spirit? Wow, this is heavy, Capricorn. Let's get some clarifiers for you. All 
All right. Queen of Swords. Strength. Yes. And Three of Cups. Absolutely. I'm definitely finding out. I'm definitely feeling this is someone very close to you. And there's money between you. There's a money problem. Like a loan that has not been paid back to you, Capricorn. That's what I'm feeling from this. With the Queen of Swords. You are trying to get to an understanding of why this person would do this to you. You're trying to get clarity on why this is even happening. You're even questioning, did you do something wrong? Did you miscommunicate something with them, Capricorn? Like, you're unclear on how this could ever happen to you. That's how close you are with this person. But Spirit is also telling you it's going to take a lot of strength on your part, a lot of compassion, and you may not feel very compassionate right now. You may not feel very compassionate right now. But in order to get you to a better place, you're going to need to uh, enforce compassion from you onto this other person and have a compassionate discussion with you with them you're going to have to be strong enough to not let the rage fly out and hinder an understanding that you're seeking and the reason why i say it's definitely someone very close to you because the three of cups three of cups has shown up the three of cups has shown up and so i and i just you know with i don't even know uh it's definitely a very close friend or family member who has basically betrayed your trust where this money, this loan situation has come from. And now you are enraged. Instead of having the conversation, you're just holding it in and, and the rage and the anger is building. And that is not healthy for you. We're going to move on to Mbokumu, soul forgiveness. You're definitely going to have to forgive this other person and you're absolutely going to have to forgive yourself in order to transition to the next phase of your relationship to transform this rage into something more useful to you transform that rage into determination soul forgiveness is important forgiveness is important it's for you it's not for the other person that it allows you to you to be free from anger and rage and doubt and anything that is holding you back, Capricorn, okay? And with the soul forgiveness, we have the six of wands. All right, all right, all right. Then we have the magician. Wow, I love this. And we also have the nine of wands. Okay, this is what spirit is doing for you. Soul forgiveness with the six of wands coming up for you, Capricorn. Spirit is letting you know when you get yourself to a place of forgiving them, forgiving yourself for anything you might have miscommunicated. When you get to that place, Capricorn, you are going to feel a huge relief. You are going to feel more love. It sounds crazy, right? You're going to feel more love. You're going to feel like I absolutely should have done this sooner. I should not have held on to that rage. And that's okay to have the feeling of regret for not doing it sooner. We're human. But you're absolutely going to come on, come out on top. You are the victor. You are the winner when you choose forgiveness, Capricorn. And then you have the magician. As Spirit was guiding me and leading me to tell you to transmute that negative energy into something more positive, that is what the... The magician does. The magician is the creator. The magician is the manifester. The magician is the transmuter, right? And so you have the ability, spirit is reminding you, you have the ability to change this situation, change how you're feeling. And then we have the nine of wands energy for you, Capricorn. This is telling me what I'm getting from this nine of wands is you, you become wiser from what you've gone through and it is a teachable lesson. It is a teachable moment and you know absolutely what not to do next time. It has worn on your relationship with this person, but I feel that there is hope that there can be reconciliation between you and this person and the misunderstanding can be cleared up and the financial end of this situation can be cleared up as well, Capricorn. So we also have judgment. Uh-huh. We have the two of swords. Yes, 
and we have the seven of coins with the judgment card you are you will be reborn you will be reborn when you decide to forgive and you make forgiveness a part of your everyday actions right you will you will awaken to the fact that forgiveness is vital for your life force right you you will be reborn when you go ahead through this this conversation and this compassionate understanding with the person you're having a situation with, you will be reborn from the forgiveness. And then with the two of swords, the decision is absolutely yours. You cannot wait on them to come to you, Capricorn. You have to go to them. That is what spirit is leading me to feel with the two of swords energy popping up. It is your decision. It's ultimately your choice. You are the one that has to decide to take action or not. And spirit is leading you to take action, Capricorn, right? And then you have the seven of coins. With the seven of coins, what I'm feeling for you is this will help you to gain inner wisdom again of what not to do, what to do, what not to do in a situation like this in the future. Or if this ever, if if you ever go into a money agreement with anyone you're close to, you may decide that you don't do that anymore. So the decision will be yours yet again. The decision is yours. You have the two of swords and you have the seven of pentacles here. A choice. They're both talking about a choice and the choice is yours, Capricorn. There is no one else who can make this, this decision for you. Moving forward, it, this is all your responsibility and do not wait for them to come to you. You must go to them. Spirit is leading you to, you to go to them to start this conversation and begin a process of healing and transmuting that rage into something that is more positive, powerful, and joyful for you, Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. This was absolutely for you. If it resonated for you, please drop in the comments. I'm ready to move on, right? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos I have for you. I will see you soon. But until then, bye-bye.